What is up, everybody? To whoever is here today, and we're gonna talk about there's a new rumor that a PS5 Pro is in development and it might release uh, next year as late in late 2024. Um, and it says this current gen is most likely to last until 2028. Uh, so it's most likely going to bring increased visuals and ray trace performance is what this thing might bring. So I'm in the minority. What I am fine with this being a thing that might happen uh, for next year. A lot of people are saying they don't want this to release. If this is true, they don't want a PS5 Pro or Xbox Series X Pro or whatever. What the Xbox Series X enhancement is going to be called. They don't want that. They say we're just fine with just the PS5 and Xbox Series X as is. Well, it's like I'm in the minority. I say, hey, they're going to make a new one. I will buy it. I'm fine with that. It's like they release a, a new graphics card like every few years. Like at first there was a 30 series, now there's a 40 series of graphics cards. So it's like it's the same thing. It's like I don't see why. What's what's the big deal if the PS5 gets a new pro model? I'm fine with that. So I don't see a problem with that. The main arguments was that people were saying it's too early. Uh, people were saying they can't afford it. Um, if that is the case, you can't afford it a new PS5 then just stick with what you got like I don't see what the problem is if you can't afford it just stick with the PS5 you do got it can still play the modern current gen games it's just like how it was last gen with Xbox One Xbox One X the PS4 PS4 Pro it's like if you're fine with the, the old one stick with that if you're not fine if you want to upgrade then there's avenue there's an option for you so I don't see more options as a bad thing so I don't know it's just weird people are saying they really don't want this but the same people are probably upgrading their phones, buying a thousand dollar phones each year, like, or buying some three hundred dollar gym shoes and more. I was like, I was like, really? I was like, video games is the only thing I really spend money on, so I don't mind. It's only one, only the one hobbies I, I spend money on: video games and mainly physical uh, movie, uh, physical media for like movies is what I spend my money on. I was like, I don't got too many other things I spend money on, so I'm fine if they make a new um, PS5 Pro. Sell my old PS5 and buy this one. It's like, it's not that difficult. But if you're in none of that situation and you say, hey, you can't just get a new PS5 Pro that easy, then just stick, stick with the PS5. It's just that simple. So those are my thoughts about this. But let's see what other people have to say about this as well. Um, once again, this is a rumor, but this is a strong rumor because the whole industry is pretty much going with this one. So this one was well, like when the whole industry is pretty much behind this rumor, then it might be true at some point. Let us to be some type of validity in this statement. Uh, PS5 is just getting some leg room. I think it's wild to release this unless the new build is super cost effective. Stack up while demand is high. Okay. If they have a conference that say that, hey, this is way better than the PS5 or like the, the, the current stuff we got right now, then they have a, like a say to play event, then I'm going to buy this one. I was like, why not? <laughs> like I said, but like I said before, if PS5, if Sony's going to do it with the PS5 Pro, then more than likely Xbox is going to do it too with the Xbox series x pro so i don't see a problem with this uh hopefully we can actually we can actually get one that fully utilizes the power of the new consoles first instead of all being crushed in or poorly op or poorly optimized i'll be honest i think pro versions of these consoles are necessary for 2024 and maybe in 2025 I've always felt and still feel this generation would go until 2030 due to the pandemic pushing us off back. But about two years, we still have crunching games coming. Like I said before, most people are against it. Just give me a quick resume and I am in. Sony definitely needs to copy that from Xbox. I don't know how many fanboys say they don't, they don't want that, but you should definitely, they should definitely have that for PS5 that you got a quick resume feature. Uh, mid-generation refreshes aside from the slim versions are much less essential to this generation than they were in the last mm. yeah like people are like super against it like, I'm just reading like scanning through some of these comments like people are really against those this is such a waste they barely even have even utilized the PS5 it's been such a cross gen machine yeah, it's like I think this is more more um, important than a VR than VR P, the VR two nonsense that we just released. I'd rather have a, P, a PS five Pro instead of a VR. In all honesty, so I'm okay with this. 
I was like, I just don't, I just don't see how we're so against this. But a new phone can release every year, and people will buy that new phone for a thousand plus, thousand plus dollars each year. So, miss me with that, man. <laughs> I'm really not getting it. Apple releases a new, a new iPhone each year. You guys will buy, you eat that up. But you know, our, our hobby, of gaming, we don't want new hardware in gaming now. That's what people are saying. Like, I'm not, like I just don't understand it. Um. I mean, the time difference between the PS4 to PS4 Pro is three years, so this is kind of expected. Yeah, I kind of figured like every three to four years they're gonna make some type of new hardware for console gaming, which I'm fine with. I was like, if you want to stick with the base PS5, then do you? I don't see what what the big issue is. Like more options. <laughs> is this a copy machine? What is this? <laughs> it's like a printer machine. That's hilarious. Um. Good, I'd rather have the pro version anyways. Hopefully this will be backwards compatible with older games. Okay. Yeah, I could definitely see them doing backwards compatibility. That'd be kinda dumb if they didn't do that. Yeah, if this generation is gonna last like ten years, then I don't see a problem with a, a new gen refresh like every three to four years. I already have a PS5. Do I really want to spend about six hundred dollars for a version with extra features? Then you don't have to. <laughs> if you don't want to buy it, don't buy it then. But if they do make one, I'm gonna be on board with it. I'm definitely gonna be on board with it if they do make one. And if they show this a lot better than the old one, then why not? So this video isn't going to be too long. Like I said before, it is really too much to go off of. It's just a rumor right now they might make a new PS5 Pro. It's nothing has been confirmed. So I haven't made any announcements. It's just a rumor. But the industry is really behind this rumor at this time. Like they had this same rumor last year, but no one was really behind it. But this year, people are behind it. So it might be kind of true. Maybe some validity in that statement right there. So they are making one. I will buy it. If they make a compelling reason to get one, I'll definitely check it out. So... I'm not against it. Like some people are just vehemently against this thing being made in production, but I'm fine with it. I'm completely fine with it. If it's better than if it's better than what we got right now, I'll definitely go with it. Because I don't care about gaming on PC, my game on consoles. So if they make a stronger console, I'm for it. So I was like, like once again, the PC audience they're used to buying new upgrades for their their hardware, or whatever. Like I said before, it was a 30 series graphics cards. Now there's 40 series. Soon, probably two years from now, it's going to be a 50 series. So it's like, it is what it is. I don't see what the big deal is for consoles. have upgrades every three to four years. It's, it's, it's not an issue to me. So those are just my thoughts. Definitely want to see your thoughts down below. Are you against a PS5 Pro or Xbox Series X Pro being made? Are you for it? Let me know your thoughts down below. Leave a like for like this video. And as always, thanks for watching and peace.